Hi. This one's called All Planet Sounds from Space in our solar system. Starting with the star. That's the noise I can imagine an energy orb making. It also sounds a bit like lightsabers. Wind hitting a mic. That scene in a horror film where a stalker calls just to breathe heavily on the other end of a line. That's weird. The type of bells you don't want to hear if you're in the forest alone. Is this on loop or that's how frequently you would hear that on Venus? It's a bit scary. Okay, Earth. It's fine, it sounds like an airplane cabin. Jet sound ambient. I imagined Earth to be a bit louder. Light breeze in winter. That's very calm, Mars. Slight banging on an air vent. Jupiter is beautiful. This could be background meditation noise. My favorite so far. <laughs> what is that? Shrieking in a cave. Hades in the underworld. <laughs> Dante's Ninth Circle. Ugh. I don't like that. Everything was fine until... Saturn. Have you ever seen that painting, The Scream? This is the noise I would imagine that figure to make. Uranus. Again, just a bit windy. And ironically gassy. That one's fine. Hmm. I don't even know how to describe this one. Comparatively muted, though.
distant church bells. <laughs> That's all I've got. Okay. That was different. Making a planet sounds video and starting with the sun and ending with Pluto was a fun creative design choice. Out of these, I'd skip Saturn altogether, and I didn't like the sounds from Mars. But Jupiter and Neptune were perfectly fine. Write your favorites down below, or if you have any descriptions for these, let us know as well. Not gonna lie, if I had a quiz that asked if there were sounds in space, I would have said no, or thought it was a trick question or something like that. Because humans can't make sound in space. And I didn't think that sound could travel through space, but I guess, Everything has a frequency. I wonder how they converted these sound waves? Radio waves? Those aren't the same thing. One of those. I'll look for how they did that and leave you an article in the description. But this kind of reminded me of this episode of The Twilight Zone, where these astronauts land on what they think is a new planet. Except it's a crash landing, and resources are low, so it quickly becomes Lord of the Flies out there as they're fighting for the last bits of water. Finally, there's one standing. He journeys off. He's trying to find anything he can. After walking in true Twilight Zone fashion, he runs into this billboard that says, Welcome to Reno, and it turns out they had never left Earth. Unrelated, but that's one of the better Twilight Zone episodes that I've seen. If you have a favorite of that, tell me the title of it. Twilight Zone also made a reboot at some point in the thousands, and I saw every single one off of that series, Twilight Zone will always be the original Black Mirror. Anyway, leave your thoughts on this video. Here's a book that reads a bit like a Twilight Zone episode. It's called The Naked Lunch by William S. Burroughs. Very surreal. It takes place across multiple countries, the US, Mexico, and Morocco. This book is a ride. You're following a main character who is a bit of a junkie. It's up to the reader to decipher which stories are real, which are hallucinations, who exactly we're talking about, because the main character goes by multiple aliases throughout the book. And it's written not in short story form, but more like episodes. This book was very controversial in its time. And I think if it was written now in 2024, as opposed to 50 something when it came out, it would have been received differently. But if you like weird, this one could be for you. If you have any song choices relating to any of the planets we mentioned, let us know. I can't think of one. So I'm just gonna go with psychedelic influenced music. And the first one is Sonic Youth's cover of Superstar. The Carpenters version is also nice. I actually didn't realize that the lyrics to this one was from a standpoint of a groupie to a superstar, which kind of changes things. It's 90s rock, it's slow, and it has a bit of a psychedelic influence on it. Also, another band, this one's from the UK. Some songs are more psychedelic than others. Others are tropical or jazzy, funky. Samande, I believe is how you pronounce this group. The song is from the 70s, it's called Dove. There's something about that song that's relaxing, but it's also trippy. So I only have those two choices for today. And that's really all from me. Thanks for sending this one in though, I did like it. And thanks for watching with me.